Hey everybody, my name is Greg Ditch. I'm the auto tech teacher here at Naperville North High School. And I just wanted to talk to you real quick and give you an introduction about the shop class and what the shop class is all about. Well, we're at just a high school with an auto shop class and we're here in COVID times and it's been very, very difficult for us to uh, do online learning. And my students were very eager and very anxious to be able to get some hands-on learning done. And we are doing that in an after-school program. So part of the concept is, one, we wanna get our auto shop kids in here, as many of them as we can after school, uh, as safely as possible with social distancing and meeting all the state and local requirements for that. Uh, the other part is giving the kids a safe outlet and a fun place to go. Many of the after-school sports and activities have been canceled or postponed. However, we're still able to get some stuff done here after school. So basically the kids are going online um, until three o'clock in the afternoon. And then four days a week here, we go from 3.30 to 5.30 or six o'clock in the shop class where they get to do hands-on. Now, what is the concept of it? Well, yes, they are doing, some of them are doing some just basic auto tech projects. Some of them are doing their own projects but we also have a main project, and I'll talk about that here shortly, but the main project is a 1995 Mustang GT convertible that I purchased from Copart, a salvage auction, early in the summer before we even got things going. I bought the car strictly just for the engine and transmission. It was one of the last five liter V8s ever produced by Ford, the old pushrod style with a five-speed transmission, but once I got the car, we started getting into it and I realized that this might make a good project car. So we are uh, partnered up with carparts.com as well as a few others to get this car ready for the world of wheels. The students are gonna be the ones doing all the work. I'm just going to uh, be here to coach and guide and, and help them through it. And uh, they're putting it all together. They're gonna to put together the engine. We're having the short block rebuilt somewhere, but they will assemble the engine. Um, they're going to do all the electronics and wiring and put in a stereo system and a new interior. They decided they were going to try to paint it themselves. We're not a paint shop, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then also uh, they'll do the suspensions, suspension brakes and uh, some of the aerodynamic stuff on the car. Uh, we are going to uh, give it kind of a theme as an SCCA race car. And we might even do some track days with it. This car will be pretty well equipped. So I wanna turn it over to the car. I'll give you a little walk around, show you where we're at with it right now. Uh, it's not quite a complete car. It is pretty much all disassembled. And I'll give you an idea as far as what we're going to do with the car. So this is the car as it sits in the shop class. You're going to see us do a lot of work to the car. I did not really film a lot of the disassembly. Um, I didn't think that was quite necessary. Um, we're going to film a lot of the reconstruction of the car, which I figure most people were interested in. It's pretty easy to figure out how to take the stuff apart. Putting it back together is the trick. What you'll see here is the radiator core support. You'll notice part of it's missing. That's where the primary damage was on the car. I'll include some pictures in the video so you can see some before and after. Uh, we do have the whole front end taken apart. The car is mostly sanded down. We'll get uh, the rest of uh, the rest of it done here in the next couple of days. Well, you'll see it later on, but for me, it'll be a couple of days. We stripped the interior on the car. We're putting in all new interior, new seats, uh, new carpets, new door panels. All that'll be replaced. And we'll put new wheels on it. We're just gonna go back to the stock factory wheels on it. Uh, we're not real crazy about the look of these wheels. And as far as paint, uh, it was originally a green car, which you can tell from here. The main reason we stripped it down is it did have a second paint job on it. So we weren't real crazy about the way the, uh, the metal flake looked on it. That wasn't the look we're going for. We're just gonna do a satin black, uh, kind of a matte black hot rod look. So hopefully that comes out okay. None of us have ever painted a car before. So we'll see, we can only go up from there. Um, the idea behind this is not a how-to, it's more of a how we did it so that you can see what we did. We're not really here to show you how to do your project uh, because this is basically just documenting what the students have done and how they're learning. So 
you might pick up a few tricks here and there through the videos, uh, but that's not the, uh, the main point of the videos, but it's just to showcase the talents of our students. So hopefully the car looks a lot better as we go through the videos. I don't think we can get much worse than this. But this is where we're starting, and uh, like I said, I'll include some pictures of it so that you can see what it looked like in the very beginning when we bought the car. Um, it wasn't a lot better than this, but boy, we've got our work cut out for us. So stay tuned, stick with us, subscribe, like, share. We want you to be part of our adventure and our journey and follow us regularly for updates. I'm hoping to get a couple of updates a week on our channel. And we hope to see you there and hope to see you at the end.